Hi, this is Ron McTube. Today on the Hunter Coral Wild, we're at Silver Ridge Peaks and we'll be hunting for mule deer because we're making a brand new mule deer guide for 2022 on Silver Ridge Peaks. I've done one on Rancho del Arroyo the other day, check that out, I think I've already seen it, but today we're on Silver Ridge Peaks. I'm also going to be doing a guide on mountain goats in the next video, so we're going to go through all Silver Ridge Peaks and make new guides. So whatever animal you want to see a guide for, drop it in the comments. Doesn't matter what reserve it is, I'm going to try and cover them all eventually, but that's a lot of guides. So back to hunting. So we're after mule deer. Now the drink time for a mule deer, and that's what we're hunting them at, on Silver's Peaks is 9 till 10.30. So it's a really short time. Sometimes it's only 30 minutes in certain drink zones. So you've got to time this just right. Now that's what I'm looking for. I've got a level 5 mule deer across the lake. So we have a potential diamond over there. We have some really nice mountain goats as well, which I'm probably going to shoot because I'm quite skint now for money. I'm going to have to do some geese hunting later, get the uh, bank up. But um, there's quite a lot of mountain goats on this lake. It's a top right lake. We'll go over locations and where to find mule deer in a minute. But as I was saying, the drink zone is very short. So you've got to be spot on with locations. And you'll probably have to, if you're going to hunt drink need zone times, um, have tents near locations check a few lakes and then just dial it back an hour and then go back so 175 to 210 kilo level 5 mule deer We're using the 308 about 300 meter shot so wish me luck that looks good the health's dropping nicely now hopefully it's not a troll you do get quite a few level 5 mule deer trolls i have had a few myself and when they first came out with true racks I spent months and I could not even see a level 5. It really did uh, frustrate me. Honestly, I hunted them every day, many hours a day, and I just couldn't find one. And then after I found my first one, this sort of rain, I don't know what it was, but uh, that's just generally how it is with some species. You just think it's impossible, certain ones, uh, trying to get trophy animals, and then you get one, and then it's just like, you just line up. So I don't know why that is, but it just seems to happen that way. But yeah, we've got quite a few mountain goats here. So we're going to whack these with 308, I think. Get a bit of extra cash and then collect our mule deer. So what's your favourite area on Silver Ridge Peaks? Like I say, this is a top right-hand corner lake. It is snided with animals. You've got mule deer, Rocky Mountain Elks. You have bears. There's quite a few species, mountain lions, I've had diamonds of all those species at this lake, so it is a very good lake, and I'll go over some of the best locations to hunt um, later on in the video. But what we've got here, yeah look, mountain lions, there is a lot of these, and they're very good for money mountain lions are actually. So if you want to get some cash quick, mountain lions, go whack them. But um, So let's get the 308 out. Get some money earned. I just want to shoot all of these because basically I'm going to grind for level 5 for the next guy to come out to mountain goats. So generally what I do is I'll just slaughter as many animals as quick as possible. I don't worry too much about zones on certain lakes. Um, Silver Ridge Peaks is very open, a lot of it. And uh, it's, it's good to hunt and I think that's why it's popular. Also it's very bright map. So you feel very like sunshiny like it is now. The visibility is good. It's quite open, quite easy to hunt and very fun to hunt. So that's why it's one of the favourites for many of the community. I haven't hunted on it for quite a long time. So it's nice coming back to hunt here. When it first came out, I was on it for a few months and I absolutely slaughtered everything on it. Made quite a few videos on it and I really did enjoy it. And like I say, it is one of the favourite maps in the community and you can understand why it's really fun to hunt. Also I practice making long range guides, check them out if you haven't already seen it. I show you how to shoot over 500 meters, really good area as well. It's only just over that hill actually, but uh, I've got a nice help. But look at this, this is one of the reasons why everyone likes it. The views are really good, the map looks stunning and it's a lot of fun. I'm just going to take a few uh, pictures. This is probably going to be the part of the thumbnail. What I generally do is when I'm out hunting and the lighting's right, just like now, I'll take a few 
pictures for videos and then I'll go somewhere else take a few and then I'll select the ones I want to use you do spend quite a lot of time when you're doing YouTube and things like this just taking pictures for your thumbnails and stuff so it's quite an important part so uh, I know it's not what you want to see but uh, it's quite integral to make making the video do you know what I mean I really need to get a decent um, thumbnail so you look at it it's quite important it is beautiful and the lighting is just right. That's a key thing as well, knowing on Call of Wild when the lighting is going to be the best. Some reserves are different to others, um, and obviously that depends on how you perceive what's better yourself. So, a bit of artistry. Right, mule deer. So, we just went on a rampage and slaughtered everything around here. <laughs> so, we're going to have to go somewhere else next. Get rid of some of this hunting pressure, but we might get some good. Uh, respawns there's some really big mountain goats there so hopefully something respawns nice there this looks a chunky one level four gold 101 so he's not that far off but the absolute tanks if you ever see these in real life i never knew much about them i've had goats in real life as pets um but nothing like this if you look at videos or real life of these they're absolute monsters, honestly, they're like freaks. But if you was running up a mountain every day and, and up and down, up and down, that's all you did, you'd have muscles like that as well. <laughs> but yeah, they are, uh, they are absolute units. That was a big one as well. How's your hunting going on Hunter Colour Wild? You had any nice trophies? You had any great ones? Are you after a great one? Drop it in the comments and let me know. If there's anything you're not sure about in the Hunter Colour Wild or the Hunter Classic, drop that in the comments. I'll try and help you with that. But uh, yeah, it's been a fun week. I've been T Rex hunting. It is a diamond. 32520. So that's actually quite a decent scoring one. Whoa, look at that rack. I have never had a diamond mule deer like that. I haven't even seen a rack like that. That left one is wonky. That's kind of cool. There was a certain rack of diamond mule deer which a lot of people don't like and I've got a few of them myself. And uh, from looking at it, I thought it might be something similar to that. But that is proper, that is proper true racks, <laughs> true score. Look at that. Yeah, that's really different. The left one to the right one is totally different. So, yeah, I'm really happy I got that. That's a, that's a different diamond mule deer. That left antler, look at it. That's freaky. So, true score, how it works. True score evaluation. It's A, B, C, D, E, F for total true score. There you go. Three, two, five. But look, you can tell the differences. True Rex is definitely an effect on this. If you ever had a diamond mule deer that looked like that, drop it in the comments, let me know. I've never seen one like that, actually, so that's a surprise for me as well. So, you still learn some of that, even when you play as much as I do, which is fun. But yeah, that's a cool looking mule deer, and that's definitely going to be taxidermized. Diamond mule deer, mule deer guide for 2022, Silver Ridge Peaks. So, I always like to get a diamond on a guide if I can help it. But it don't always happen, but it's nice when you do get one. So let's have a look at where you find mule deer on Silver Ridge Peaks. So I've made this image. The red areas are where you won't find mule deer on Silver Ridge Peaks. The white areas are where you will find mule deer. Pretty simple. But they're scattered across the map. So I marked three key locations. Those with the yellow ring round are my favourite best locations for finding mule deer. I've had a lot of diamond mule deer at those locations. Remember drink time is short, it's only 9 till 10.30. That covers the two drink times that you can find. Sometimes it's even a 30 minute one, but 9 to 10.30 for drink times for mule deer. I'd focus on the right hand side mainly because as you can see most of the right hand side has got mule deer at lakes apart from the bottom right hand corner and the best areas I like to hunt mule deer and generally seem to turn up diamonds are those three in the yellow circles. So that's where you find them and where you don't find them and the best locations for mule deer. I hope that helps 9 to 10.30 drinking time. So I'm Ron McTube, today we've been on Silverbridge Peaks looking for a diamond mule deer, making a new mule deer guide for Silverbridge Peaks 2022. Hope you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to my YouTube channels and thanks for watching.
Bye-bye.